UltraView just released their 1K arrows. Today, I'm gonna show you what I use and I'm gonna show you what Matt uses. We think that they're comparable, if not better setups um, to the 1K arrows. And we're gonna go through the specs, go through the pricings. Um, we're gonna break it all down and see what you guys think is the best option. All right, we're gonna start with the spec breakdown of the UV 1K Aero. Now, all specs are going to be based off of findings on their website. Um, we have theoretical specs also for things such as their knocks, their wraps, and their fletchings or veins. Um, so we'll begin spec breakdown. So UltraView 1K Aero. We're, gonna, we're going to spec out a 26 inch arrow that comes with a 75 grain outsert, 100 grain field tip, six grains per fletching, theoretical, 10 grains per wrap, theoretical, and 10 grains for the knock. So after calculating the total weight of the arrow, we come out to 442 grains, um, which is not bad for you know, a everyday arrow, especially, especially for a 26 inch arrow. And the calculated uh, FOC or front of center comes out to be 13.7%. Now the UV 1K arrow pricing is a little bit steep. Uh, we have $220 roughly per half dozen. So for a full dozen of UV 1Ks comes out to 440 a dozen. That breaks down to just about $37 per arrow without any customization, since they are pr proprietary. So let's talk about my personal setup. Right here, we got the Black Eagle X Impact with the Focus Insert Outsert System. Um, I'm running 125 grains. Let's do a spec breakdown and see how it compares to the UV-1K. So first off, I have a 26 inch arrow, 300 spine, 8.1 GPI, which is a little less than the UV 1Ks. I'm running the 100 grain Focus insert outsert combo, which includes the stainless steel black nitride outsert, aluminum insert, and of course the Allen screw that goes along with it. I'm running a 125 grain field tip, six grains per fletching or vein, uh, 10 grains on the wrap, 6.6 .6 grains on the boning f knock with a total weight of 475 grains. So after all the calculations, this arrow build setup comes out between 18 and 19% forward of center or FOC, which I think it was my goal to begin with, high FOC arrow build, um, without compromising long distance shots. Now price breakdown, with the FOCO system, with the arrow shafts, knocks, veins, uh, custom arrow wraps, of course, it breaks down to $25.53 per arrow compared to the $37 per UV 1K arrow. Now let's turn it over to Matt and he will break down this year's brand new setup that he will be running. So my new setup for this season is, is a Victory Rip XV or Extreme Velocity. It's a 300 spine and it's going to be cut down to 26 inches with a GPI of 7.1, which is significantly lighter than both Tim's arrows and the UltraView 1K arrows. I'm going to be doing a 75 grain outsert with an added 20 grain weight to that outsert giving me just a bit more FOC. I also plan on running 125 grain field tips. Uh, the fletchings I'm gonna be using are boning heats, which are 6.6 .6 grains per fletching. I'm running custom wraps from one stringer that weigh 10 grains and Knox weigh seven grains. So my estimated calculated weight for my arrow, it should be around 445 to 455, which is a pretty good midpoint arrow while also having a lot of FOC. 
My calculated FOC in the end should be around 18 to 20 percent FOC, which is my goal for this arrow build. So with all my components and my arrows, my arrows should cost around $20.15 per arrow. All right, thanks for the info, Matt. Let's go over the total price of each build. The X impacts that I'm running um, came out to just about $320. Um, that's a fully custom build. Matt's build, the Victory Rip XVs, came out to just about $260. Um, which is almost half as much as a dozen UV-1Ks. Now, a lot of people are talking about the 1K carbon weave on the UV-1Ks. Now, I understand that maybe 1K um, weave carbon shafts may be stronger. Um, I don't really know the, the other pros or the cons with it, but overall how I see it, how we all see it, is if you shoot something real hard like a rock or wood in a on a target you're gonna you're gonna likely lose an arrow so i don't think it really matters personally how strong the arrow shaft is if you hit something hard it's going to damage something on the arrow likely an outsert or insert for sure a field tip and also likely the actual shaft so that concludes our cost breakdown and our spec breakdown of the arrows that we use currently um, are builds that we've been experimenting with for the past couple years just to get to the point where we need them to for our purposes of hunting and the cost breakdown and spec breakdown of the UV-1K arrows. Let us know what you think in the comments on which setup you would go with. Let us know what setups you're running with your specs. We'd like to know what you're focused on as far as arrow building, whether that's total weight, whether that's strength of the arrow, whether that's front of center. Thanks for watching.